In the early 9th century, a coastal village nestled along the rugged shores of northern England found itself on the brink of war, the fierce and seafaring Vikings, known for their longships and fearsome reputation, had set their sights on new conquests. Among the villagers was Eilder, a skilled blacksmith, and his son, Leofric, a young warrior eager for his first taste of battle. One ominous day, the distant horizon revealed the unmistakable silhouettes of Viking longships, slicing through the mist. Panic swept through the village as the villagers hastily prepared for the impending invasion. Eilder, with his sturdy frame man weathered face, quickly forged weapons and armor for his fellow villagers, instilling a glimmer of hope in their hearts. As the Vikings landed with thunderous force, the clash of swords and the cries of war echoed through the air. Leofric, armed with a sword crafted by his father, fought valiantly alongside his fellow villagers, the Vikings, however, proved to be formidable opponents, their ferocity unmatched, the battle raged on, and the fate of the village hung in the balance. Amidst the chaos, a blaze erupted near the village center. The Vikings, known for their strategic prowess, had set fire to the thatched roofs of the homes. Hoping to weaken the villagers' resolve, the flames leaped high into the sky, casting an ominous glow over the battlefield. Panic surged as villagers scrambled to salvage what they could from the burning structures. Leofric, undeterred by the chaos, mounted a horse and charged towards the Viking leader. The clash of swords between Leofric and the Viking chieftain became a focal point of the battle. Both warriors displaying unmatched skill, the ground trembled beneath the hooves of their horses. As they circled each other, their weapons glinting in the fiery glow of the village. As the battle unfolded, Hildur tirelessly forged weapons and repaired damaged armor on the outskirts of the village. With every strike of his hammer, he fueled the spirit of resistance among his fellow villagers, their determination. Combined with Leofric's bravery, began to turn the tide of the battle. The Vikings, sensing a shift in momentum, slowly began to retreat. Leofric's blade cut through the air, striking down the Viking chieftain and signaling a turning point in the conflict. The villagers, inspired by their young hero, rallied together to drive the invaders back into the sea. In the aftermath of the battle, the village lay in ruins. That the flames of valor had not been extinguished, Eildert, Leofric, and the surviving villagers worked tirelessly to rebuild. Their spirit unbroken, the tale of their resistance spread across the land, a testament to the indomitable will of those who stood against the Viking onslaught. The flames of that fateful day became a symbol of resilience and determination, forever etching the saga of the village into the annals of history. Songs were composed, recounting the bravery of Leofric and the skill of Yildur, weaving their story into the fabric of local lore. Generations passed, and the rebuilt village prospered. The memory of that harrowing day lingered. A reminder of the strength that could be found in the face of adversity. The flames that had once threatened to consume the village now served as a beacon of hope. Illuminating the path forward, Eilder and Leofric, those scarred by the battles they had fought, became revered figures in the community. Their legacy endured, passed down through the ages as a testament to the enduring spirit of those who had faced the Vikings and emerged victorious. The village that had once stood on the brink of destruction now stood as a testament to the indomitable will of its people.